everyone, I'm Layla. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. I was a bit of a dum-dum and lost half of my intro footage for this video that I'm filming now. So I've had to go back today and film the little bit of the intro that I left out. But basically, I was a competitive gymnast and I just thought it would be fun to look back over and react to my old routines. Yeah, so my gymnastics days were pretty short-lived. I did for about five years. I competed national level one through to three and I was training national four slash five when I, when I left. And I was not the best gymnast, we can definitely say. I think I was just not mature enough at the time I was doing it. Like I was definitely strong enough to be good and I was training a heck of a lot of hours, but I was just kind of dumb and I like couldn't think about technique and I just kind of did stuff so it really annoys me when I look back at stuff because I'm like oh my gosh I wish I had have just played it smart because I could have been a lot better like I still did well in competitions not amazingly well like I'd place around 10th to 4th from what I remember but yeah I was not that great but I'm still grateful for the gymnastics days anyway for what it has done to me and what it's brought me to now if this video happens to do really well, I will film like a story time video just about my gymnastics experiences because I have a lot that I could go over. Sorry, this intro has been really long already. Now let's just get into reacting. I'm kind of nervous. I'm going to be judging myself really hard. I won't be offended if you guys judge me because I know I was absolutely crap. But like, let's start watching. <laughs> video I'm going to be reacting to was my practice competition before my first ever level one competition so it was just like a practice thing to see like where our scores were or something so I think I was about six here six ish I have no idea but that's my estimate so it's my beam routine okay did my mount did an arabesque thingy and that was definitely not long enough my face is concentrating I can tell that wasn't bad it was pretty controlled I nearly just tripped on my own foot uh -oh. Ooh, half turn <laughs> I just fell on a half turn and I literally like landed I just went stopped and then I fell out of nowhere like I wanted to fall I have no idea why I did that and all the parents in the background were like oh okay continuing I'm getting back on more footwork stuff Oh, that was a bit shaky, but I landed it. Quarter turn, and now I'm going to straight jump off. Sticks the landing. Wow. Oh, I can't believe I fell on a half turn. And I landed it too, and everyone was so, like, upset for me in the background. It was so funny. Yeah, so that wasn't too hot. Okay, so this here was either level one or two. I'm not 100% sure. I think maybe level two. And it was my floor routine, so let's just get into it. I think it's like half cut off. I feel like it's shorter than normal, but anyway. Cartwheel. That's pretty snazzy. The split jump was actually okay because I was always trash at split jumps, and that was like half decent for me. Handstand for a roll. jump half turn thingy that was like pretty i was not tired all then we got some kicks a little turn yeah that wasn't too hot backwards roll that backwards roll was okay for me because again i was really bad at backwards rolls and that was it i mean 
I would rate the performance okay, but like, it still wasn't that great. But you know, it could have been a lot worse. I'm actually surprised it was probably one of my better routines. I actually looked like I had somewhat of an idea of what I was doing. Okay, well this reaction will be really quick because it's from Vault. I think this was either level two or level one, probably level two. So yeah, let's just get into it. I was like either really good at Vault or really bad. It kind of depended on the competition, but. Oh, that was very rough. That was terrible. I ran so fast and as soon as I was getting towards the vault, I slowed down so much. I'm watching that again. I was literally going so fast and then I started taking such small steps. And I was meant to go back with my feet together, but I like kicked up like a handstand. Again, I could have easily done it properly. I was just freaking stupid and like did it however I wanted to do it. And coaches would tell me like one trillion billion thousand times. To do it like that, I was just dumb and yeah, didn't take corrections. But that's okay. My score play reflected how bad that was. Oh, don't want to think about that. That was really bad. So I obviously didn't do very good. Oh my gosh, okay, I remember this meet now. I got a really bad score on vaults because I remember I got my ribbon for vault back. So like it was basically graded. So gold was the best, then blue, then red than green and it'd be like scoring so generally yeah the more golds you got the better some comp most comps actually i would get all golds but towards the end in like level two and three i would like have some really bad comps and that comp i probably got a red on vaults i believe because i think i was really disappointed after okay so moving into level three right now this was either one of the first competitions of the season or the last i'm pretty sure it was in sydney and i remember i was so upset with how i did i did so trash because it was me and my so me and my friend there was only two of us that competed this and everyone else was like so much better well they didn't even look that much better it was just because our like floor routine was different because of the different states so i feel like we were kind of like a little bit ripped off but i remember we got like the worst scores we'd ever gotten and i literally cried the whole way home so yeah that's all i remember about that comp but we'll start with beam i remember beam was really bad that's all i remember there's like people in the way that are like crop them out so you can see but I fell on my mount which is really embarrassing and unfortunately it counted my coach was like oh maybe it won't count because like I don't remember why but it counted I fell on a mount that I'd never fallen on like ever so here we go that was an ugly present and I just missed the beam I don't get over and I had to start again oh, I think that was an okay that was this is good now that I'm up it was so uncontrolled It's taking me forever to get into the next thing. That was so slow. Okay, swing up. We're on the beam now. Tuck jump, straight jump. From what I could see, my feet were not pointed at all, which is not very good. Handstand. Legs bent a bit, and it was very shaky on the landing, but I would have got points for that, because if you did like an L, that was still like considered points. Oh, that was pretty rough. Very shaky. Oh, 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 it didn't fall. I saved it. That was very shaky. Half turn. Oh, I'm wobbling all over the place. I mean, I didn't fall. Actually, I did fall on the mount. I haven't fallen off yet, but I've been split jumped. It was like okay, but my leg was so bent. It was still crap, but for me, that was good. Back kicks. Run and jump off. That was terrible. Oh, I wobbled so much, but yeah, that was okay. Beam was never really my thing. Towards the end, before I was leaving, I got better at it, but that competition was rough. Oh, I nearly fell so many times. I'm not surprised my score was low. I obviously had my ex expectations really high. <laughs> this is the same comp in Sydney, and this is my floor routine this music is going to bring back memories i've heard it a billion times i don't know how old i was here i think i was maybe nine ten eight nine nine do, 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 do. 
That split was good. I mean, we're off to an okay start. That wasn't bad. Oh, okay, I need to pause it. That is annoying me so much. I was a gymnast my whole life and I never could present properly. I was like this, like what the hell is that? It's meant to be like, but I'd like, I'd start there and then I'd just like finish it there and it looks so bad. I don't know why I did that. See, I was just dumb. I had potential, but I was dumb and didn't use my skill properly. Cartwheel, wow. Backwards roll, that was bad. And I'm like level, I'm at a level up and I level two one like was 10 times better than that. Mm. I like wobbles a lot on the length of a split jump on the floor, but it wasn't that bad. My leaps were okay, I definitely did a lot worse. Round off, my legs were very bent, don't know why. Oh, oh, oh. That was terrible. I was wobbling all over the place. I turned, my foot hit. Oh, I don't even know what I was doing there. Back was walk over. That was okay. Oh, my feet. My feet just hit on the scold roll or whatever it's called. I got that deduction every single comp. It was really sad. I was like the only person on my level. I didn't have a press handstand. First of all, I was the tallest in my team, and that's because I cheated in strength. Because gymnastics like does stunt your growth, but it didn't stunt mine that much because I cheated most of the time in strength. I did some things properly, but like we were meant to do like twenty chin ups, and I don't really do like I don't know, not that many. <laughs> that four routine wasn't bad. I just messed up on like really easy stuff that I shouldn't have messed up on, but it had potential. I was just dumb and didn't use my potential, but. That's okay, that was probably my best event at that competition. Okay, so we're still at the Sydney competition and we are on bars. I don't even remember if I liked bars or not. Sometimes I was really good at it and sometimes I was really bad at it. Like floor was probably my most consistent event, honestly. Like tumbling skills wise, not actually score wise. I was really, yeah, but I always got rips on bars. Like I got the most rips out of everyone on my team just because Again, I was stupid. I just did stupid things and I got the most rips. But that was okay. That's just part of it. So here we go. Glide swings. They were okay. I'll give that to myself. That was not bad. Chin up to over. Legs bent slightly. Mm, not too hot. That was not a bad cast. That was not bad. My feet were a little... And I jumped a little on the dismount. My feet were a little part in the back hip circle. Oh gosh, I don't want to watch this. I was so bad at like glide swings. Oh god. I don't want to watch. Oh, it's not that bad. I've seen worse of me. Oh, that was actually ba not bad. I was thinking about another video. I'm pleasantly surprised. There's another video in here where I do like terribly at those. Actually, that bars routine wasn't bad. That was probably my best event that comp, even though bars was probably normally my worst event. But that was actually half decent. Go me. Don't remember what score I got. Maybe I had like, I have some of my gymnastics ribbons there, like just a few, but I had like a massive folder of stuff. So I really want to actually go find it and see if I can find my like scores from that comp because they were really bad. I literally just went and raided my closet and I found the thing I was looking for but didn't have my scores from that comp unfortunately but I found scores from another comp that is in this video. Okay so now we're moving on to Christmas Cup. This was just a comp my gym would help would hold at the end of the year just for their own athletes and you basically just competed. It was meant to be like fun or whatever and it was just like bridging up to the next level because it was at the end of the year so you'd be putting in some skills for the next level basically but yeah I think I came oh my gosh I remember this I came fourth out of five girls because only five people came because everyone else was away or something and yeah I was close to third but I had an absolute shocker on beam and bars but my vault and floor were really good so let's go this is vault
I'm running. That was not bad. One of the moms was like, oh, in the back. <laughs> that was, that was okay. My run was so bad though. I ran like this and I was not going fast. So considering that I actually had a pretty good volts out of the effort I put in, in the run, because the run was absolutely terrible and gross and terrifying. And I actually have the scores from that competition. So on vaults, I got a 9.3, which is pretty good. Like it was a bit sloppy because I didn't attack the board very well. But besides that, my shape was pretty good. I don't really know what I would have got deducted on, but 9.3 sounds pretty accurate. Okay, now I'm moving on to bars. I scored an 8.2 on bars. That's surprisingly high considering how bad I did, but the judging was like pretty casual and chill. But before you even start, I'm already cringing because, so it's basically a rule in gymnastics, you're not supposed to wear underwear under your leotard. You're just meant to go just with the leotard. And normally I would abide by this, but as of this time, I was like getting older and I was really insecure about not wearing underwear. I hated that idea. So I'd always wear like just tan seamless underwear under my leotard. And I was obviously really self-conscious and insecure about it showing. So I pulled my leotard down so low and it looks so bad. It looks like I'm wearing one of those leotards with like the connected shorts. Oh, it is not a look. I should have just not worn underwear or like it would have looked better if my underwear was being seen instead of pulling it down like that. But anyway, so this bars routine is already off to a terrible start. Uh, I already know how bad it got. Okay. The live swings, they went bad. My feet nearly hit because there was like a mat underneath and I was a tall child. Or for a gymnast at least. She didn't pull over. That was terrible. Cast was a bit archy and my feet were a little apart at the end. I don't know why I did that. Cast off, jump off. I don't know if I was meant to jump to the high bar then or just jump off. I have no idea. I was the biggest chicken as well. I would I was the tallest on my team by like a decent amount. Like I was very, very tall for a gymnast, which made things difficult, but I would not jump to the high bar, which is the like easiest thing to be to do as a tall gymnast. I don't know if I was meant to then or not can't really remember okay here is where the swings are really bad oh my legs were so apart and bent and then at the back they're so apart and this was ages after the sydney and i didn't make it over but the and then i fell again i felt like no i only fell once then thought i fell twice but still those swings were atrocious they were so bad i can't believe i got an 8.2 that it was very generous in my opinion like my legs were so far apart like you'd think after doing those for like my whole life I'd actually be half decent at them but no now we're moving on to beam from the same competition I got an 8.3 so I assume I probably fell so yeah let's just get into it wedgie pick that's hot Ugh. That mat was good, my feet were pointed, legs super squeezed. I'll give myself credit for that. And that was good too, we're off to a good start. I'm starting to figure things out. And that wasn't bad either. I'm actually looking half decent. I'm starting to play gymnastics smart just before I leave. This is my last ever competition, by the way. Cause I, oh my God, that was disgusting. I don't know why I did that. Handstands were never my thing on beam i just could not figure them out i could do back walkovers on the beam fine but handstands nope don't know why that makes no sense to me how i could do back walkovers but not handstands but that was terrible i was literally just meant to do a handstand then and i just went Ugh. could have at least tried to save it but no oh that leap was bad okay everything up until the handstand was going well half turn my face is concentrating Oh, oh, that was so bad. My split was literally like that. Half turn, mm, hopping everywhere. That would have been a deduction. Pretty big one. Oh, 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 that was rough. And now just jump off the end. Yeah, okay, so some parts of that that were actually surprising. 
I was starting to figure things out in my mind and starting to actually make things look decent. But then some things were not so good at all. So yeah, 8.3. That was pr probably pretty generous as well. At the Sydney Pop, if I had have done that, that would have been like nothing. <laughs> so this is the, the final routine. This was my last ever floor routine. It was a Christmas cup again. And it had like more of our advanced tumbling because we were starting to learn more handsprings and stuff. And this is my last comp. And then I trained for another like half a year and I left right before comp season, which was good, which was a very good idea because I probably would not have done well at the comps. I was training level four slash five. We were hoping that our whole level would move to level five. But if I'm being honest, I would have most likely stayed level four because, you know, it just wasn't my thing. All right, front handspring, that was terrible. My hurdle, like my round off in, not round off, my entry into it was terrible. Half turn, percent, round off back handspring. That was a good landing though, I finished the landing very well, but my round off into it, it was so high and not long at all. The leaps were not good, but they weren't as bad as they could have been. The full turn was okay too, but it was out of control at the end. Back walk over, not bad, not bad. Oh, and that was it. Okay, so that was the end of my floor routine. I got a 9.3, which again is pretty generous <laughs> considering that routine. But I think I probably got like a bonus because I did a round of back handspring that was just meant to be a round off, but my coach let me do the round of back handspring. And I believe she got me a bonus for that, which was very nice of her. So yeah, that was a 35.1 overall score, which again is probably not very accurate because it was Christmas cup. But yeah, that was my last competition, I think at least. That's kind of sad, but yeah. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely enjoyed, actually I didn't enjoy it. I cringed like the whole time, but yeah, I'm kind of, that makes me sad. I'm kind of sad my gymnastics days are over, but I'm not at the same time because during the time of gymnastics, I just did not have a good like gymnastics values because the coaches are pushing so much discipline on you. You don't want to be disciplined. It's like when you're like people have really strict parents and then they rebel a lot because their parents are super strict. That's kind of how gymnastics was for me. So I did not like use discipline at all when I was in gymnastics. But as I left gymnastics, I was able to use that discipline that gymnastics taught me in other places. So I guess it was all for the best. So yeah, I was definitely not the best gymnast. I had some potential, but I just did not have the drive at that age. I have so much more drive now, probably because of gymnastics. But at the time I was actually in gymnastics, I hated every second of it. And I just guess I thought that I had to kind of be there because it was part of my identity at that point in my life. But I'm really glad I found cheer and left gymnastics. But yeah, that was, it was nice to look back at those videos. And I've definitely come a lot further in my tumbling and technique now, which is nice, I guess. So yeah, I upload every single Saturday, 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So hopefully I'll see you next week. Please subscribe. And yeah, I, that was actually so much fun. I love looking back on my gymnastics days. I actually might, I'll start making more gymnastics videos if this does well, because I don't know, that was really fun and funny to look back at how bad I was. But I, I'd love to actually do a story time video. Not that anyone is gonna request that, but if you would like to see it, please request it, because that sounds fun, but I don't wanna do it unless it's requested, because I don't wanna be spilling tea for no reason. But yeah, that's all for this week, guys. Bye.